Um, we have been looking at um, the fight of faith. Okay. The fight of faith is the fight that God wants us to engage ourselves in. All right? Very important. Remember to still invite your guests. They, they can still join and be benefited by these last few minutes we have. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 1, verse 11 and 12. First Timothy 6, verse 11 and 12. It says, But, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Verse 12 is a fight, the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith. I'm going to read the second test scripture, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. He said, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Now I'll read the devotional. Jesus won the victory. And that is something that you have to get established fully inside you. All right? 1 Timothy 6, verse 11 and 12. And then 2 Corinthians, I mean, sorry, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. Those are the text scriptures. Jesus has won the victory. You have to know that. It has to be established inside you. <laughs> because you can't win the battles in the spirit from just, uh, just doing spiritual activities. You have to win from the platform of knowledge. He conquered sin. So he has conquered sin. So you can overcome sin. It doesn't matter what the devil is doing. It doesn't matter what temptations you are facing. It doesn't matter what darkness is bringing. He, Jesus conquered sin. So you have victory over sin. He conquered death. So you have victory over death. Satan cannot come and kill you just anyhow or any time. No. No. There's a time. And the season for departure. And you're not supposed to die... Uh, accident, uh, this one, that. No, 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 no. You die, you depart in peace. You depart in peace. You depart in peace. You know, I saw, I saw God give Abraham that covenant. And it's a covenant for you and I too. He said, you'll be gathered to your fathers in peace. Not in shattery and by sickness. And no, 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 no. In peace. So he conquered hell. So you don't have to go to hell anymore. <laughs> and brought victories to any and every battle you and I have to face. He has brought victory to every battle. Maybe you are facing some battle in your for over your home. You are facing some battle over your business. You are facing some battle over your children. You are facing some battle over your, uh, your career or your profession. Whatever battles you are facing, Jesus has already brought victories for you. All right? He has already brought victories for you. This is the truth power that we have for whatever we face. We know that we have overcome them all. See, you have to fight from that platform that you know you have overcome. You can't be fighting from the platform that I want to win this evil spirit. I want to win this uh, witchcraft. Oh, this witchcraft, they are too strong for me. No, no, no. You can't fight from that platform. You have to fight from the platform that you know that you have overcome. You know that you why, how do we know that we have overcome? Because Jesus overcame. We know we have overcome all. We can face them all with absolute confidence and assurance of victory. So you can face anything, any situation at all, with absolute confidence of victory. Why? Because you know you overcome. This is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Our faith overcomes all things and all challenges. Number one is the same faith that Jesus used to overcome the world that he has given you then that faith works our faith our faith is the victory all right we must know jesus conquered every battle you are facing now jesus already fought for you and won he said be of good cheer i have overcome the world so you must fight from that platform of knowledge that i have overcome I don't, it doesn't matter what the challenges are you are facing, no. Just know that you have overcome. That's the fight. That's the fight. The devil doesn't want you to know you have overcome. The devil doesn't want you to fight from that vantage position that I have overcome. 
Because when you know you have overcome, you go everywhere with confidence. You go everywhere with persistence. You don't give up. Why? Because you know you have overcome. You know. This one, I've overcome. It doesn't matter what it is, I've overcome. And so I know that this thing turns out in my favor. We fight this fight of faith by understanding how faith works. Faith is acting on what we believe that God and Jesus have done and finished for us. We act on what we know they have done already. That's what faith is. Faith is acting on what we believe and know that God and Jesus have done for us. We must change from the thinking that God is still doing it to knowing that God has done it all. He said the works were finished from the foundation of the earth. Mm. Then Jesus came and then said, it is finished. And you say, God is still doing it. No, no, no. He's not doing it. He has done it. You have to fight from that position. He has done it. Eh, but he's not yet in the physical. Listen, sister. Listen, brother. That the, fact, the fact that he's not yet in the physical doesn't mean he's not done yet. When he created man, was he not created? Mm. Then he now came and formed the man in the physical. That's what we're talking about. So for anybody to say, hey, boy, I'm not seeing any man on that. Yes, you are not seeing any man yet in the physical. But that doesn't mean it hasn't been finished. It has been finished. What the party say? The works have been finished from the foundation of the earth. All right? We must change our thinking to this. From thinking that God is still doing it to knowing that God has done it all. We fight from the place of knowing. We fight from the place of knowing. If you know that your father left you a billion naira, or let's put it in dollars. If you know your father left you a hundred million dollars in a bank somewhere, you will take all steps to collect that money. Is that correct? Your father left you one million dollars in one bank. Maybe it's a bank in uh, Malaysia, a bank in uh, Kenya, a bank anywhere the bank is. Unless you cannot get there. But if you can get there, you will take all steps necessary to collect that money. Why? Because you know, you know. See, when you fight for the place of uncertainty, you don't win. It's difficult to win from that platform. Because from that platform, you are doubting. And maybe it's not even there. Maybe. But when you know, you know, you have evidence. Somebody has given you the account details. You see the name of your father. You see the balance in the account. And then you see the uh, 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 document that your father submitted that you are the next of kin. And your picture as next of kin is there. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. You go there with confidence. Whatever resistance you meet there, you're going to fight that resistance. Why? Because you have evidence. Evidence. What evidence do we have that Jesus won? The Bible shows us. The victories are won on the cross. The victories are won in the grave. The victories are won in the resurrection. He has overcome all. It is finished. That little business you are trying to set up, he has finished the battle to set it up. He has already set up the business. The business has already increased and filled the nation. The business has gone international. He has already done that. If you fight from that, that, that place of knowledge, you always conquer. You fight from that place of knowledge. This is the fight. You will pray where prayer is needed. If you know your father left you $100 million in a bank, you will pray where prayer is needed. You will speak where speaking is needed. You will go to the bank and talk to people. You're not going to sit down in the house. You know, when we sit down, when we pray and sit down, it shows that we don't know. If you are prayed and you know that you have what you have prayed for, you will take action. If it's because you don't know you have, you have received something. If you know you have received something, you take action. You take action. People will call you crazy, but that's their cup of tea because this is how it works. You take action. If you know you have received something, you will take action. Jesus said, whatsoever you desire, Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Whatsoever you desire, Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. Because when you believe you have received it, you will take action. If you're not taking action, saints, brother, sister, you have not believed yet. If you're not taking action, it is only when you are taking action that it shows that you truly believe. We, you cannot say, I believe and sit down. No, no. All this sitting down is too much. Praying and sitting down. No, don't sit down. Take action. Ask yourself, what actions do I need to take to prove that I know that I have this thing? Go and do it. Go and do it. 
Go and do. If you believe you have it, if you believe you have received it, then go and do what you believe you have received. Go and take actions relevant to it. You go to the bank and talk to people there. Showing them the evidence you can present to be able to get the money. You will definitely not sit down and be praying alone. Ah, God, this money, oh, let them bring it to me, oh. No, 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 no. You go out there, you go out there, you go out there. The fight of faith is a fight in prayer. It's a fight in speaking the word, speaking what God has said. And taking necessary action because you know you have the victory. Because you know that Jesus got the victory already in that matter for you. Because you know that it has been established for you already. Because you know that the demons cannot resist you anymore. There's no devil. It does the one which said, no, 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 forget those ones. They cannot anymore. It's not based on your power. It's based on what has been done by Christ. He has crushed them. Crushed all of them. Because you know that the demons cannot resist you anymore. Because you know that the angels, men, and all of creation will have to follow the victory script of God and the narrative that Jesus already purchased for you. Faith is acting because you know you already have the victory. Faith is acting. That's the fight. The earlier you master this way of behaving or fighting, the quicker you step into a glorious life. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want you to pray and say, Father, I receive grace to step into this victory life of faith in the name of Jesus. Fighting from the position of knowing that I have victory. I receive grace to master this lifestyle of faith. Fighting from the position of knowing that I have victory. Acting on the promises of God from the position of knowing that I have victory. Pray that in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Glory to God. Now we're going to go and do the last part of PhD every day that we do it. We speak the word. The word you speak today creates the future you want tomorrow. That's where our fight of faith starts from. We speak, we say it, we say it, we say what we want. We don't keep quiet. We say what we want, and then we act upon it. We act upon it. We act upon it. You say that, then you act upon it. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. You can't sit down. You go and act. You go and talk to people. You go and open the door. You go and knock the doors. You go and do the negotiations. You go and market that thing. You go and tell everyone, this is it. This is it. Come and get it. And you don't take no for an answer. Somebody say, no, go to the next person. Why? Because you know you have victory. You know. You know. You say, I want 1,000. 1,000 sales. You know you have 1,000 sales. You keep knocking. Somebody says, I'm not buying. That means you don't want part of your 1,000. You go on and you keep going. Before you know it, boom, you break into a realm where they are the ones running. As you are running after them, they are also running after you. Listen, it's a fight of faith. We speak the word. We speak in season and out of season. We keep speaking. We keep speaking. All right? We keep speaking. I'm going to, uh, I've not uh, started sharing the testimony, but I, uh, tomorrow by God's grace, I'll start sharing some testimonies with us. And if you have a testimony, you've been speaking some things and they have come to pass. Please send your testimonies in. We need to encourage one another. So we know that this is what we're saying is not play. We are really getting things done. So say with me, say in the name of Jesus, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. Say with your own mouth, I am a new creation. In Christ Jesus, the old things have passed away. All things have become new. I'm a new person in the name of Jesus. I have been washed with the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, my body, my organs, my systems, my bones, my cells, and every part of my being cannot be corrupted, deformed or defiled by any force, system, vaccine, or injection. In the name of
of Jesus, the blood of Jesus flows in my blood and in my lineage. Therefore, everything, negative experience, disease, attached to the whole blood line, have been purged out of my blood. The covenant in the blood of Jesus is the covenant that speaks in my life. In the name of Jesus, Christ is my covering, my head, and my authority. Christ is also my root and foundation. So no other foundation speaks in my life and in my lineage but Christ. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I've been redeemed from the curse. Therefore, I cannot be cursed. I am the blessed, and my blessing cannot be reversed. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I have the life of God in abundance. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live inside this body. My spirit is in perfect connection and harmony with the Father God. I fellowship with him. My soul has been delivered from the control of the laws of sin and death. In the name of Jesus, my body is in subjection to me, the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, all lost and evil affections of the flesh have been crucified in my own flesh. The glory of God manifests in me more and more. In the name of Jesus, I am a God, a child of the Most High God, an offspring of the Almighty God. As a God, I have unendowed access to the Father God. I hear his voice. I engage his presence. And I have conversations with him. Every day, I am planted in the Elohim koinonia, the fellowship of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I declare, in the name of Jesus, I am born of God. God is love. I am love. And the love of God has been poured into my heart and into my soul by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I walk in love with all. I am patient with all. I am kind to all. I believe the best for all. I hope the best for all. I endure all things for the sake of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I love righteousness. I hate wickedness. In the name of Jesus, I declare today, I have been justified, discharged, and acquitted of all sins and transgressions because Jesus Christ took my place, took punishment for all my sins, suffering for all my sins, died for all my sins. So no sin, no accusation, and no charge can be leveled against me anymore. In the name of Jesus, I am the righteousness of God. I have the righteous nature. I have the holiness nature. So I walk in purity every single day. I do not sin. I am meek and lowly in heart. I have rest in my soul. I am the meek that inherits the earth. I am humble and submissive to God. I submit to God, his will, his counsel, and his purposes. Therefore, he exalts me in due season and i walk in abundance in the name of jesus i declare today i have on the whole armor of god the belt of truth i speak truth the word of god i have the breastplate of jesus's righteousness i am bold and courageous i have the sandals of the preaching of the gospel i'm always preaching to all helping them to find christ and intimacy with God. I have the element of salvation. I expect the coming of Jesus. And I live in that. In the name of Jesus. I have the shield of faith. I quench all fairy darts of the devil. I quench all darts of the devil. For I walk by faith. And not by sight. I have the sword of the spirit. The word of God. So I have the word I need. For every situation I face, I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. In the name of Jesus, I declare today, I am the blessed of the Lord. 
the blessing of Abraham is upon my life. In the name of Jesus, I am empowered to prosper, to go forward, grow, and be great. I have the power to get wealth, and I prosper by it. Money follows me and serves me as my slave. By the stripes of Jesus, I have been healed. I live in sound health by the stripes of Jesus and by the life of God. I'm surrounded with favor as a shield. I'm highly favored in the name of Jesus. I have wisdom for every situation. For Christ in me is the treasure house of wisdom. I know what to do, what to say, how to go about things. In the name of Jesus, I arise, I shine, my light has come. The glory of God is upon my life. I have found my purpose. I'm fulfilling my purpose. God's hand is stretched out for the fulfillment of my purpose. I cannot be stopped. I am manifesting my destiny. Now, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I and all that are mine, we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. No evil can befall us. No plague can come near our dwelling. We have overcome. Our lives are hidden with Christ inside God. Therefore, we have overcome. We live. We do not die. To declare the glory of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I declare, my home is God's habitation and heaven on earth. My home is God's dwelling place of peace, harmony, unity, and love. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I and my spouse, we are one as the Father and the Son are one. Our children are taught of the Lord. Great is their peace. They are on fire for God. They love God. They are mighty on the earth and they are prosperous and fulfilling purpose in the name of Jesus. I am head and never tail. I'm from above, so I'm above all in all areas and fields of calling, skill, and assignment. I overcome all. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I am God's chosen, God's elect, God's beloved, and because he loves me. Today, I am victorious. I am triumphant. I overcome all. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, I have the spirit, anointing and power of the move of God. Therefore, I manifest the fullness of Christ's character. Think what Jesus would think. Saying what Jesus would say. And doing what Jesus would do. In all situations, in the name of Jesus. I manifest also the fullness of Christ's power. Healing the sick. Raising the dead. Casting out devils. Doing the works of Jesus and the greater works. In the name of Jesus. I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom. I create solutions. I cause advancement. I do exploits by the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's presence. Everywhere I am, the presence of God soaks the place. The sick are healed. Sinners come to Christ. Demons flee. Powers of hell are seized. And the glory of God covers the earth as waters covers the sea. In the name of Jesus. Pray the Holy Ghost with that. Apashko Dudia. Rigamba Shofakande Discoba. Zekadushko Fiambete Rigada. Aramambo Sumambi. Fina. Join Pastor Paul Alashore every Sunday, 9 a.m., at Elohim's Tabernacle International, Lekki.